It's the baddest, lightest, hardest version of my favourite Ferrari. It's the 430 Scuderia. And it's all yours for £172,500. Some of the changes from the standard F430 are obvious. There's no carpet, no radio, and carbon fibre bucket seats. All designed to save weight and make the car more responsive. Some of the changes are less obvious. The brake discs are two centimetres bigger and have pure carbon centres to withstand extreme heat. The front tyres are one centimetre wider to offer more grip. And the exhausts now exit up high so to not disturb the aerodynamics down below. It's a car for Ferrari clients focused on playing at a track, which makes it even more surprising that around this city centre, it's as docile as a Fiat Panda. No spluttering, no jerking, just cruises along in automatic, easy peasy, giving me even more time to take in the sights of Modena, which is, of course, Ferrari's hometown. <laughs> But it's not just about sights, it's about sounds as well. Venture above 3,500 RPM, a little valve opens up, allowing you to play music for the locals. The Maratino switch controls the car's personality. It sets the sportiness of the gearbox, differential, engine and traction control systems. But interestingly, in the Scuderia, the suspension is now controlled completely separately. It was suggested by a certain Michael Schumacher, who had a fair bit to do with the development of this car. And it enables you to keep the engine and transmission in full, fire-breathing, maximum attack mode, while softening the suspension should you come across any dodgy roads. Which ultimately, of course, is quicker than bouncing off manhole covers. The Scuderia is 100 kilograms lighter, and with an extra 20 horsepower, the 4.3-litre V8 now produces 510 horsepower. Ciao. Top speed is a colossal 199 miles an hour, while 0 to 62 takes less than 3.6 seconds. All impressive statistics, but one is more telling than all of those. The rumour is that the Scuderia is as quick, if not quicker, than the Enzo hypercar round Ferrari's private test track at Fiorano. Could the £420,000 dream machine really have been beaten, caught up by a car based on the entry-level Ferrari? Join us later in the show when we take the Scuderia to the track and find out. We're at Ferrari's test track to find out if the new 430 Scuderia is, like the rumours say, as quick as an Enzo. Now, when I came here with the Enzo, I did a lap time of 1 minute 29 seconds, which wasn't exactly record-breaking, but wasn't bad considering I was unfamiliar with the circuit, didn't know the car, was chatting away to you lot, and only had five laps. So the question is, can I match that, or maybe even beat it, with a Scuderia? <laughs> limited laps to play with, I didn't have long to attempt to beat my Enzo time, and I thought I'd better start in race mode to experience the very latest in Ferrari's F1 developed traction control system. Open the fully, and it just accelerates. And I can't get used to that, I must admit, Formula 1 drivers nowadays, they just turn a corner and open the throttle. Ah! I still lift it off because I couldn't believe that the traction stop this 510 horsepower kicking the back out. You just feel the car's held back and then suddenly it's released. Within just a few bends the car makes you feel instantly at home. 
this car is so stable and so confidence-inspiring. It just sort of hasn't really had any alarming tweaks or moves. I cannot believe, really, how level a platform we're working with. There's no sudden lurches or body rolls. You don't feel any drama involved at all. Now I felt confident in turning all the safety aids off to try for the ultimate lap time. Just me and a throttle pedal aiming for 129. We're now unprotected. We're now going to fully feel the 430 scooter air come alive. Under braking straight away, you feel the difference without the protection of the diff of the actual car under braking, less stable. The back wants to tweak ground on me then. But the car feels a lot less stable all of a sudden. It's quite a dramatic change. Because the e-diff doesn't just work for traction, it actually works under braking, it helps the braking stability. I mean, the Formula One track is fantastic. It does allow any driver to drive this car incredibly fast and competently. But it takes the glory of driving a Ferrari away from you. And now I've got that glory. <laughs> the power oversteer is back. And it's just a smile comes on my face. So, what was my lap time? Excuse me, do you have the, uh, the lap time for Mr. Needell? Had I matched the Enzo's 1 minutes 29? And the answer is 1 minute 29.4. The same as the 660 horsepower Ferrari Enzo Ferrari. This 430 Scuderia is quite some car.